I am just a girl that lived an average life and spent the majority of my years wishing and dreaming for, for another life and realized that it wasn't for me, that there was something else out there in life. And I just had to go out and see what it was. I like taking the hard line. I like it to be raw. I like jumping in a crusty old Jeep and blasting across the countryside. That form of travel for me, it's pure. It puts me in the environments that are harsh, the wet, soggy day after day. I may complain lightly about it back and forth with Banner, but the reality of it is secretly I love the shit out of it. We can now experience things that we never thought were possible and maybe something arises and we're like, yeah, let's do it. As a kid, I would read these little books called Choose Your Own Adventure. The whole premise to those books is, you know, you have a couple options in front of you and the next part of that story dictates your decision. And they're always kind of a fun or a wacky decision that you had, but you could read the same book a hundred times and have a hundred different stories play out. And if you take that little recipe for that book and apply it to life and realize that this life is a choose your own adventure story, it becomes fun. The struggles become fun. You start to enjoy the heartache. You start to enjoy the challenges. You start to realize that life lays out a series of obstacles regularly with the intention to stop you from getting to your end goal, period. And that's just the program, that's just the rhythm. Whatever way you need to say it to digest that, that's what it is. So for me, I think it's a fun puzzle and it's gonna suck, it's gonna hurt, and in the end, we're all gonna die. <laughs> so why in the hell wouldn't you go out and choose your own adventure?